Greetings everyone, and great here for another Age of Hearts 3 replay, as well as south side as the blue Swedes, we have Lillian Pasha. Bottom bottom top right side as the red Spanish, we have Merc. Swede versus the Spanish. Oh, it's hard to say who, how this one will go. We may see... Huh, there's a lot of things to go. We might have to wait and see their decks in order to see what's going on. Uh, this player is spamming the build villager a bit too much. Well, this one. Oops, did I actually save a screenshot? I didn't think I hit a button to save a screenshot. Then, do you see that button pull up if there's... If a player in the game screenshot? Oh, got some torps now pulling a field, which will help them slowly collect up these various resources. The very annoying this carcass. And now we have the first shipment available. We may have found some uh, EXP on on the field. Of course, we've got settlers. We do also have the Conquistador, and previous Spanish explorer with his war dogs and his war dogs in combat. So this is he may be eyeing for something a bit more aggressive with his explorer. And using his dogs, he may be eyeing for a see Merc too. That's his name is uh profile. So I have a feeling he may be eyeing to skip aggressive uh conversation, go straight to fortress. This is a guess though. Village should be employed with more villagers, got uh food, wood, and coin drop off, got some pikemen, rodeos, hand attack cavalry, uh hand attack hit points. Uh, Reconquista, it's just one Conquistador for each three archaic units you've lost, maximum of ten. And of course got the House of Trasmia, however you pronounce that. House of Trasmia. Rise fast, Ajaps are, your next age up is cheaper, faster, and the shipments you receive is you have received in your current age. And the faster, more shipments you have... Let me read with that again. Your next age up is cheaper, faster. The more shipments you have received in your current age. So the more shipments you receive in this age, the more res the cheaper it gets, as well as faster. Interesting. Weird niche card. You may want to eye aggressively for the trade posts then. receiving your in your current age so it doesn't apply to any of the this one up here either he may do that for age three rather than the age two either way the rest of one of his is the vice royal's new spain get some hacienda wagons very nice eichmann rodeados he's signed for archaic stuff hazards cavalry combat lancers cabellos who likes to do increased average infantry and has strike from additional range Balconets, Spanish gold, precious metals, new world grand additional gold for all your shipment, very nice. And heavy range infantry mercenaries from Servo, the armored pistoliers. Of course, down here we do have the peninsular gorillas, improved range infantry attack, allows skirmishers to see the location of enemies you recently have damage. Uh, increases all damage of all range infantry by 20%, but then tones down musketeers by 10%. This is mostly primarily meant for crossbows and their skirmishers, but not necessarily for the musketeers. And of course, uh, factory, factory, standard. His opponent, let's see. Same shipment, he does get his villager shipment in. This here, Taurus now spawned blueberry bushes instead of berry bushes. There, your, blue, your berry bushes present on the map also become blueberry bushes and contain more food. Blueberries are gathered much faster by torps. Lacquer. Got, uh, crate, crate, crate. We got, uh, 1v1 Renek, which maybe, uh, no, no, never mind. We also got hand, hand attack for infantry and cavalry. We've got, uh, all heavy infantry points are increased. Of course, got the leather cannons. The torps gain plus 100% more coin quickly from mines. So that just makes it 
they will collect the coin faster. Dominus, which he just got, which he researched, gets himself uh, four torp wagons. They've got gold. Each torp uh, spawns blueberry bush containing a thousand food. Berry bush. And that probably is affected by blueberries. Let's see, Kellen's inflict more damage to the range attack. Howdy. More damage, damage to the range attacks, which the heavy cab and shock infantry. Let's see, Hussars and Carolines, Falconets, Snaplock, Carolines and Hybrid range and line of sight increase, three range and one range. Blue's Iron applies some pretty big aggression on the field, the Torps. And Hessians and Trample Tactics. Factory Factory, and then Prospector Wagons. And Carolines now resist range damage instead of melee damage. Very nice. Carolines and Grandia's hit points increase. Most oh, exciting for a good number of Carolines being pulled in the field. He has a nice force of nine right there. His one right now is eyeing for a ship in the pikemen, and it's going for fast, uh, castle wage. He's not researched the house of Tramasia just yet. So he is maybe eyeing for using this to go to next Imperial Age, eyeing for lords on the shipments. Pikemen advance it forward. Carolines are classified as a musketeer. But oh, they don't have good uh, damage resistance against, uh, or melee, melee attack versus a cavalry. They do have good range attack versus cavalry instead. They are classified as heavy infantry. Preparado. And musket uh, and these pikemen, of course, are more of an anti cav tool. They're defensive, they're archaic, they do 8 damage per attack. Not great, just okay. Spanish time for defense there. Outpost wagon is here. You can get out uh, some Kobashi heavy Turkmen cavalry. <coughs> Excuse me. Which have it looks like a hybrid unit. Torps eyeing to collect up this gold there. Trying to push forward of his torps there to collect gold passively. And he's keeping this shipment here. I let's see. I think you don't have to go for this one immediately as well. So let's see what's gonna go for first. It, usually people go for the hacienda wagon, but he's going for the uh, Spanish gold. Uh, makes sense. The extra gold per shipment. We do have one trade post up here. He does trade himself some hunting dogs there. Very nice. Hunting dogs do 22 damage. So they're better in hand-to-hand con in -to -hand combat than pikemen somehow. They also have, they have double health now. So he's actually not gotten the hunky store upgrade. Never mind. Venom skirmishers push me forward. Getting a bit damage on the Carolines. Venom skirmishers are more of an anti-musketeer tool. They do bonus damage uh, heavy. So they're a good item to counter the Carolines. Carolines now falling back. Does get the next shipment available. Going for some Falcon Nets. Looks like he's eyeing to push on forward See? now. Oops. Give me See. Starting to push down these torch, uh, torps. One torp does go down, very nice. They are 140, same cost as a manor, so relatively cheap. Still don't want to lose them, however. And he has plenty of population space there. He only has most of these Carolines for defense. He's going for the next age now. As far as advancing forward, the Carolines do not get uh, melee bonus damage versus cavalry, they only get range damage bonus versus heavy cav. 
This group is being distracted by the barracks now. Pikemen push way forward as well. This is damn hey. barrack Carolines do have decent hand attack, better than Pikemen, honestly. Pikemen's gonna go on down now. Got some doggos here as well. I wonder what he got as a shipment. Not sure what he got for our shipment. My apologies, hit my microphone. More of the Hazars being pulled on the field. Against those Hazars. He does have some pikemen here. Uh, some more skirmishes as well. Uh, no, he's actually out of pikemen. No, there's two pikemen there. Two pikemen are engaging, trying to open the falcon nets. That's getting one of the Hazars there, but let's the Hazars move up on the falcon nets. Doggo's getting gunned down as well. Skirmishes getting some hits on the Carolines. Dude, the dogs count as archaic infantry when it comes to uh, that one shipment. Scarf's gonna be overwhelmed. And there goes that explorer. You could go for some of these natives. We do have the artillery foundry now being employed in the field. Going for a shipment of Rodeados. By butchering up these names really bad. Do the Carolines do bones after his shock? Uh, they don't appear to. Oh, they know they do. Bones infantry is a hand shock infantry. Do Rodeados consider a shock infantry? Or they consider heavy? They're actually classified as heavy, not shock. You know, they generally fit the role of shock infantry quite well. And these guys do not do bone stamp versus uh, heavy, so the early arrows will be very good versus those musketeers. I mean, these guys are basically shock infantry for coyote runners, honestly. Oh well. Now the shipment's available. I you don't see the Viceroy's royalties of New Spain yet. He's going for more pikemen. Maximum 10. Let's see. He will get so far three conquistadors. Need some more dead archaic units. I guess those dogs do not count as archaic infantry. Veteran Hus... I don't know how to pronounce some of these names. They are a light range cavalry from Finland, as well as short range attack. They are basically Dragoon, but a little bit different. But quite a bit of damage right there. Got some nice on the field. They're anti infantry tool. Let's see these guys. They do bonus damage in AoE. Victor versus a uh, heavy cav versus end shock artillery. Deal less versus infantry and villagers. See? Two falconets are here, going for another torp now. There's those blueberry bushes there. Give me your Both sides Give have me two falconets. Currently, the Spanish not pulling out any, not pulling out anything. Also, a little bit of pop cap. And the Swedes have a lot more population field. It has probably a couple more villagers as well as all the Torps to provide some good resource generation. Yeah, that's more than the villagers worth across various resources. We have some more Carolines not being employed on the field. We also have some coin crates there to be gathered up, but it's being gathered by Torps. Tactics, so we may be eyeing for trampled tactics. Or Hazar's going for Culvern. Got a massive force now being sent forward. Yes, 
got some pikemen here to push on forward, as well as Rolieros. Oh, and all the pikemen got disintegrated by those falcon nets. Yep. And they all went down to the falcon nets. They got annihilated. Skirmishers now falling on back, going for some more lancers there. One of the falcon nets are still alive with Spanish. One of the Swedish falcon nets will go down, but now the Spanish falcon nets are down. Another one coming along the flank. Trying to push there and does focus down. More lines to be forced to deal. They do bones here for infantry, but not necessarily versus the cavalry. And it looks like Red's gonna go ahead and surrender now. No, he doesn't really need a housing anymore. Because there's plenty of space for his forces. Rodeados. He's still trying to pull it in. He hasn't lost any. Uh, he's done 28 villagers. His opponent has 38. 900 idols, well. And now it's a pop cap. Yep, this game's pretty much over. Rodeados advancing on forward to get annihilated. He does get a shipment out of the exact same time as well, but they're hitting cavalry, not the Carolines. Lancers are hitting the Car Carolines now. And that is the end of the replay. Let's end the great scene. Thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.